The following is a presentation of Tomorrow's World. We live in a fast-paced technological world. It seems the speed of life and intensity of activities has accelerated. It's no wonder that many experience extreme worry, anxiety, and apprehension. Just the stress of everyday life can kill us. We commute in congested traffic. We interact with carnal, argumentative people. We face financial, social, personal, and job-related problems. And then add to those stresses the frightening terrors attacking our cities and nations. My friends, how are you and your family coping with the pressures, challenges, and stresses of daily life? According to the National Institute for Mental Health, quote, anxiety disorders affect about 40 million American adults age 18 years and older, about 18% in a given year, causing them to be filled with fearfulness and uncertainty. A large national survey of adolescent mental health reported that about 8% of teens ages 13 to 18 have an anxiety disorder with symptoms commonly emerging around age 6, end of quote. On today's program, we'll be offering you an inspiring DVD that will give you three major approaches to surviving in tough times. This free DVD is titled, Claim God's Promises. You need to persevere through the stresses of the 21st century. You can survive by using the awesome biblical promises God gives to you. In fact, you can go beyond survival to positive living through the guidance and gifts God wants you to enjoy. Your Bible reveals powerful keys to persevere. You need to apply them in your own life. My friends, you can survive tough times. Stay tuned. Warm greetings to all our friends around the world. In recent years, the global recession affected millions, if not billions, of people. Most of us have had to face tough times in our lives. Can you survive in troubled times? Your Bible gives us hundreds of promises from God Almighty that will give you courage, faith, and incredible blessings. How can we cope with our stresses? How can we persevere under our daily pressures? On today's program, we'll answer those questions and we'll discuss five major strategies to help you survive in tough times. We'll also be offering you an inspiring DVD that will give inspiration and encouragement from your own Bible. This free DVD is titled, Claim God's Promises. This free DVD contains three Tomorrow's World programs, Answered Prayer, Overcoming Stress, and God Heals. These programs are vital to your future faith, peace, and security. God gives us powerful promises in His Word, the Holy Bible. Be sure to request your free DVD, Claim God's Promises. On Tomorrow's World, we look to the Bible for the awesome solutions to our problems. How can you survive in tough times? Strategy number one is claim God's promises. Turn in your Bible to 2 Peter 1, verse 2. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord as His divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who called us by glory and virtue. Listen to this. By which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these, these promises, you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Notice that these are exceedingly great and precious promises. When we were children, sometimes our parents made us promises. We look forward to the fulfillment of those promises. But in this case, we have to search the Bible for these precious promises. My friends, you have a Heavenly Father who knows your needs and promises to fulfill them. But Jesus instructs us to get our priorities straight. What do you consider the most important goal in your life? 
Here it is in Matthew 6, verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. My friends, we must seek the greatest goal of all, the kingdom of God and His righteousness. If we do that, then we can claim God's awesome promises He has for us. How can you face your troubles? Are you worried? Are you anxious? Let's look at one of God's promises to give you peace of mind. Philippians 4 and verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. This is a priceless blessing, and there are many more. Open your Bible, read God's promises for peace of mind and for dozens of other benefits and blessings. Claim God's promises. Remind God that He has given you those promises. Let me share several other promises with you. We've listed some of them in previous programs, but consider these promises in your own Bible. God has promised to answer our prayers, Matthew 7, verses 7 through 8. He has promised to fulfill all our needs, Philippians 4, verse 19. He has promised to guide our lives, Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. He has promised us long life if we honor our father and mother, Ephesians 6, verses 2 and 3. He has promised to give us the desires of our heart if we delight in him, Psalm 37, verses 4 and 5. He has promised us the ability to endure trials, 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13. He has promised the gift of the Holy Spirit, Acts 2, 38, and Luke 11, verse 13. He has promised us the gift of His love, Romans 5, verse 5. And He has promised us eternal life, 1 John 2, verse 25. My friends, study these promises in your Bible. Remind God that He has given you these promises. Ask God in faith to fulfill these promises in your life and you'll begin to have a greater peace of mind. And you'll be fulfilling one of the keys to answered prayer. Our inspiring free DVD we're offering today gives you keys to answered prayer. Be sure to order your free DVD titled Claim God's Promises. We've listed several major promises, but there are many, many more promises in the Bible for you and your family and for all human beings on earth. Be sure to make your own list. Strategy number one to surviving in tough times, claim God's promises. We'll continue with strategies to surviving in tough times in the next part of our program. But first I'd like to offer you this inspiring free DVD by the same title, Claim God's Promises. This free DVD contains three Tomorrow's World programs, Answered Prayer, Overcoming Stress, and God Heals. Is God answering your prayers on a regular basis? Are you applying the keys to overcoming stress? Have you claimed God's promises from your Bible for healing of your physical, spiritual, and emotional illnesses? These programs are vital to your future faith, peace, and security. As we've seen, God gives us powerful promises in His Word, the Holy Bible. Be sure to request your free DVD, Claim God's Promises. This inspiring DVD will also help you in your study of the Bible and help you survive tough times. So pick up the telephone right now and request your free DVD, Claim God's Promises. You can order the DVD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org or you can write to us at one of our regional addresses. For today's free informative offer, send your request to Tomorrow's World. P.O. Box 3800, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28227. Or call this toll-free number, 1-800-493-5437. That number again is 1-800-493-5437. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. 
Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World. Call now. In the first part of our program, we saw that as we experience a dangerous and stressful world, we need to claim God's promises. Strategy number one for surviving in tough times is to claim God's promises. Strategy number two for surviving in tough times is pray daily. My friends, you need to seek the true God of your Bible and reap the benefits of a close relationship with your Father in heaven. Jesus' disciples once asked him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. Jesus proceeded to give them the outline prayer or the model prayer. Notice that one request we should make in our daily prayer is in Luke 11, verse 3. Give us day by day our daily bread. We need to pray every day. The Apostle Paul exhorted us in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. My friends, you can survive in tough times if you cry out to God for help. Pray in Jesus' name, and God the Father in heaven will respond. Jesus further emphasized this authority to ask in his name. Read that in John 14, verse 13. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. My friends, we need to draw close to God through prayer every day. Get down on your knees if you're physically able, and let your requests be made known to God. God is a loving Father, and He wants to give you good things, but we must be humble and we must cry out to him. If you have your Bible, turn to Hebrews, the fourth chapter, verse 16. Here God encourages us to come boldly before his throne in heaven through prayer. We can do that because our Savior and High Priest Jesus Christ is at God's right hand to intercede for us. Hebrews 4, verse 14. Seeing then we have a great High Priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Listen to this. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Notice in Psalm 55, verse 17 that ancient King David, a man after God's own heart, as it tells us in Acts 13, verse 22, often prayed three times a day. Let's start in Psalm 55, verse 16. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Strategy number two for surviving in tough times is Pray daily. My friends, the key is consistency and praying from the heart. We need to consistently exercise faith day after day, week after week. The Apostle Paul gives us this encouraging perspective in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed, listen to this, day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, while we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. This attitude of perseverance and consistency leads us to the next strategy. Strategy number three for surviving in tough times is maintain a positive attitude. Remember that our inner man is being renewed day by day. Look to the big picture, knowing God is on his throne looking after you when you ask him to. We previously read Philippians 4, verse 6, which exhorts us to have a positive attitude. Philippians 4, verse 6, 
Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. We overcome anxieties by sharing our innermost thoughts and concerns with God in prayer. We exercise a positive attitude in our prayers by thanking God. We'll continue with more strategies for surviving in tough times in the next part of our program. But first, I'd like to offer you this special DVD titled, Claim God's Promises. This DVD is free of charge, and it gives inspiring strategies for surviving in tough times. This DVD covers much more powerful biblical principles than we have time for in this program. This free DVD contains three Tomorrow's World programs, Answered Prayer, Overcoming Stress, and God Heals. You need this vital information. Request your free copy of Claim God's Promises. Call now. Today's offer is yours absolutely free. No cost, no obligation. Visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. Find us on Facebook, watch us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. We've been discussing strategy number three for surviving tough times, maintain a positive attitude. We've read the wonderful promise of Philippians 4, 7, that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. All the money in the world will not buy for you the peace of God. That comes only by claiming God's promises. Notice the following verse in Philippians 4, verse 8. Here the Apostle Paul exhorts us to use mental discipline and to think positively. Philippians 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Are you maintaining a positive attitude? We all face trials, troubles, and problems. How do we cope with them? The Apostle Paul experienced severe trials, even nearly being stoned to death on one occasion. You can read about that in Acts 14, verse 19. Paul was imprisoned and had chains laid on him. And yet while in prison, he could write the epistle to the Philippians and exhort them to rejoice in the Lord. Philippians 4, verse 4. The Apostle James encourages us to have a positive attitude in our trials. Read that in James 1, verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. My friends, keep the big picture in mind. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, as we read in Matthew 6, verse 33. Count your trials as joy when you realize that they produce godly patience and character. Strategy number three for surviving in tough times is maintain a positive attitude. Strategy number four for surviving in tough times is read your Bible daily. God reveals the truth in His holy word, the Bible. When we read the Bible, we can know the thoughts of God. He records miracles working with the ancient nations of Israel and Judah, often called salvation history. They give us great encouragement. We remember God bringing the ancient Israelites through the Red Sea and freeing them from the bondage of slavery in Egypt. We remember the power God gave the young shepherd David to slay Goliath the giant. God delivered Daniel from the lion's den. He delivered the three young Jewish men from the fiery furnace in Babylon. Christ healed multitudes of people from all kinds of disease and affliction. And God resurrected the dead Jesus after He spent three days and three nights in the tomb. When we read the miracles of God and His many promises, we can grow in faith, as it states in Romans 10, verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. As you study the Word of God, the Bible, God will give you more faith to face your challenges. Bible prophecy also helps us to know the future. Beyond the trials and tribulations of today's chaotic world, God promises us that a new world is coming, a new world government that will establish world peace. It's called the kingdom of God on earth. 
Jesus Christ is called the Prince of Peace in Isaiah 9, verse 6. Read in your own Bible this wonderful prophecy in Isaiah 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Yes, your Bible reveals the good news of tomorrow's world, a world where all nations will live in peace under the kingdom of God. Your Bible gives us the sure word of prophecy, as it tells us in 2 Peter 1, verse 19, in the King James Version, or as in the New King James Version, we have the prophetic word confirmed. God reveals the wonderful future and our incredible human potential. Strategy number four for surviving in tough times is read your Bible daily. We'll discuss the vital strategy number five in the last part of our program, but first I'd like to offer you this inspiring DVD titled Claim God's Promises. This free DVD contains three Tomorrow's World programs, Answered Prayer, Overcoming Stress, and God Heals. Is God answering your prayers on a regular basis? Are you applying the keys to overcoming stress? Have you claimed God's promises from your Bible for healing of your physical, spiritual, and emotional illnesses? These programs are vital to your future faith, peace, and security. As we've seen, God gives us powerful promises in His Word, the Holy Bible. Be sure to request your free DVD, Claim God's Promises. This inspiring DVD will also help you in your study of the Bible and help you survive tough times. So pick up the telephone right now and request your free DVD, Claim God's Promises. You can also order this DVD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org or you can write to us at one of our regional addresses. For today's free informative offer, send your request to Tomorrow's World, P.O. Box 3800, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28227. Or call this toll-free number, 1-800-493-5437. That number again is 1-800-493-5437. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World. Call now. On today's program, we've seen the awesome promises God gives us in His Holy Word. God gives us the gift of faith to face our challenges, problems, and times of trouble. We must strive to be courageous in stressful times. We've recently discussed four strategies to survive in tough times. Strategy number one for surviving in tough times is claim God's promises. Strategy number two, pray daily. Strategy number three, maintain a positive attitude. Strategy number four, read your Bible daily. Strategy number five for surviving in tough times is care for others. When you focus on the needs of others, your personal stress reduces. Why? Because you are practicing a great spiritual commandment. There are many, many ways we can love others. We can communicate our love, concern, and compassion for those who are sick, even visit them in the hospital. We can give to the poor and help provide the needs of others. We can pray for others who are in trouble with persecution, finances, illness, and social conflicts. God loves every human being on earth, and He instructs us to pray for others. In James 5, verse 16, He tells us to pray for one another that you may be healed. In 1 Timothy 2, verse 1, 
The Apostle Paul exhorts us to pray for government leaders and others. Therefore, I exhort first of all that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Notice this, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. My friends, when we care for others, when we consider their needs, challenges, and problems, God will bless us for giving to them in whatever way we can. Remember the supreme way of life Jesus taught in Acts 20, verse 35? It is more blessed to give than to receive. Jesus Christ set us the example of a serving attitude. Matthew 20, verse 25. But Jesus called them to himself and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you. But whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. We all need to follow Christ's example of serving, helping, and caring for others. Strategy number five for surviving in tough times is care for others. As Christians, we look to the Savior of the world to save us personally through tough times. We claim God's promises, and we live each day by faith. The Apostle Paul was in chains in prison. He shared with the Philippian brethren his positive attitude and faith in Christ. He also was striving to go beyond survival. Philippians 4 and verse 12. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Now notice this, Paul proclaims, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. My friends, look forward to the kingdom of God. Stay close to God and trust Christ to bring you through tough times into his kingdom. Be sure to request your inspiring free DVD, Claim God's Promises. It will give you the encouragement you need from your own Bible. We invite you to join us every week on Tomorrow's World program. Roderick Meredith and I will continue to share with you the teachings of Jesus Christ and the exciting end-time prophecies and their meaning. We also invite you to join our colleagues, Wallace Smith and Rod King. They'll continue to give you special perspectives on Bible prophecy, biblical truth, and Christian living. So be sure to join us again next week right here at the same time. To view the Tomorrow's World telecast or request today's free offer, visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. And remember to find us on Facebook and be sure to follow us on Twitter. The preceding program is produced by the Living Church of God.